Now at six, Chopper Four over the scene at Bayfront Park right now, where Ultra Music Festival is making a comeback following a two year hiatus. Organizers expect thousands of people to pour in this weekend. But with the big crowd comes even bigger concerns safety, traffic, and noise complaints all taking center stage. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has been looking into all of that today. And she reports on how the city of Miami is preparing for an event that in the past has been marred by trampling incidents and arrests. I guess I'll have a concert from my balcony. You will definitely hear the Ultra Music Festival from far away, especially if you're in a high rise building. We're doing some sound monitoring and we have a sound monitoring expert. The noise coming from the Ultra Music Festival will be unavoidable, but when it comes to public safety, Miami police are hoping to keep crowds and crime under control. We have enhanced planning this year to prevent incidents like you've seen in other concerts and other venues around the nation. Uh, and we're very confident that we have a, a solid plan, a unified command with our brothers and sisters in, in red at the Miami Fire and Rescue Department. So. Ultra has had a reputation. A security guard was almost trampled to death after people crashed through a barrier almost eight years ago. There have been hundreds of arrests, drug overdoses, until Ultra spent more money and stepped up security. In 2018, the last time the concert was at Bayfront, there were 27 arrests. The year before that, 35. Though so that's out of thousands of festival goers. However, this year, multiple high profile events will be happening in the same weekend, which is why traffic will be a nightmare in and out of downtown. This is the first time in two years the Ultra Music Festival is returning to Bayfront Park. And for some who work and live here, this is going to be their first time experiencing this. Other festivals have taken place down here since I moved in a couple months ago. Not to the scale, probably. Even those festivals, I've heard, like, they bellow through. I mean, hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. We're, we're not concerned about the crowds coming over here. I know the city of Miami has plans in place. If all goes accordingly, Miami might just pull off an epic weekend. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.